हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम वेलकम बैक टू मुकुल मौर्या वर्ल्ड ब्लॉग माई सेल्फ कल्याणी महेश ये स्टडे वी हैव नोन अबाउट सोलार एक्लिप्स सो टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट लोनार एक्लिप्स इफ एनीबडी विजिटेड फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर माई चैनल प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो अबाउट सोलार एक्लिप्स लेट्स गो टू डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड क्लिक द लिंक देयर एंड नाउ about lunar eclipse a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon moves into the earth's shadow this can occur only when the sun earth and moon are exactly or very closely aligned with earth between the other two which can happen only on the night of a full moon when the moon is near either lunar node the type and length of a lunar eclipse depend on the moon's proximity to the lunar node The reddish color of totally eclipsed moon is caused by earth completely blocking direct sunlight from reaching the moon with the only light reflected from the lunar surface has been refracted by earth's atmosphere this light appears reddish for the same reason that a sunset or sunrise does the relic scattering of blue light unlike a solar eclipse which can only be viewed from a relatively small a- area of the world A lunar eclipse may be viewed from anywhere on the night side of the earth. A total lunar eclipse can last up to nearly 2 hours, while a total solar eclipse lasts only up to a few minutes at any given place because the moon's shadow is smaller. Also unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses are safe to view without any eye protection or special precautions as they are dimmer than a normal full moon. At least 2 lunar eclipses and as many as 5 occur every year although total lunar eclipses are significantly less common if the date and time of an eclipse is known the occurrences of upcoming eclipses are predictable using an eclipse cycle like the saros earth's shadow can be divided into two distinctive parts the umbra and penumbra earth totally occludes direct solar radiation within the umbra the so central region of the shadow However since the sun's diameter appears about 1 quarter of earth's in the lunar sky the planet only partially blocks direct sunlight within the penumbra the outer portion of the shadow there is often confusion between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse while both involve interactions between the sun earth and the moon they are very different in their interactions the moon does not completely darken as it passes through the umbra because of the refraction of sunlight by earth's atmosphere into the shadow cone If earth had no atmosphere the moon would be completely dark during the eclipse the reddish coloration arises because sunlight reaching the moon must pass through a long and dense layer of earth's atmosphere where it is scattered shorter wavelengths are more likely to be scattered by the air molecules and small particles thus the longer wavelengths predominate by the time the light rays have penetrated the atmosphere Human vision perceives this resulting light as red. This is the same effect that causes sunsets and sunrises to turn the sky a reddish color. An alternative way of conceiving this scenario is to realize that as viewed from the moon the sun would appear to be setting behind earth. The amount of refracted light depends on the amount of dust or clouds in the atmosphere. This also controls how much light is scattered. In general the dustier the atmosphere the more that other wavelengths of light will be removed leaving the resulting light a deeper red color this causes the resulting coppery red hue of the moon to vary from one eclipse to the next volcanoes are notable for expelling large quantities of dust into the atmosphere and a large eruption shortly before an eclipse can have a large effect on the resulting color Several cultures have myths related to lunar eclipses are alluded to the lunar eclipse as being a good or bad omen. The Egyptians saw the eclipse as a so swallowing the moon for a short time. Other cultures view the eclipse as a moon being swallowed by other animals such as a jaguar in Mayan tradition or a mythical three-legged toad known as Chanchu in China. Some societies thought it was a demon swallowing the moon. and that they could chase it away by throwing stones and curses at it the ancient greeks correctly believed the earth was round and used the shadow from the lunar eclipse as evidence some hindus believe in the importance of bathing in the ganges river following an eclipse because it will help to achieve salvation 
Similarly to the Mayans, the Incans believed that lunar eclipses occurred when a Zagor read the moon, which is why a blood moon looks red. The Incans also believed that once the Zagor finished eating the moon, it could come down and devour all the animals on earth so they would take spears and shout at the moon to keep it away. Ancient Mesopotamians believed that a lunar eclipse was when the moon was being attacked by seven demons. This attack was more than just one on the moon. However, for the Mesopotamians linked what happened in the sky with what happened on the land and because the king of Mesopotamia represented the land, the seven demons were thought to be also attacking the king. In order to prevent this attack on the king, the Mesopotamians made someone pretend to be the king so they would be attacked instead of the true king. After the lunar eclipse was over, after the lunar eclipse was over, the substitute king was made to disappear. In some Chinese cultures, people would ring bells to prevent a dragon or other wild animals from biting the moon. In the 19th century, during a lunar eclipse, the Chinese navy fired its artillery because of the belief during the Zhou dynasty in the Book of Songs, the sight of a red moon engulfed in darkness was believed to foreshadow famine or disease. Sudden lunar eclipses have been referred to as blood moons in popular articles but this is not a scientifically recognized term. This term has been given two separate but overlapping meanings. The first and simpler meaning relates to the reddish color a totally eclipsed moon takes on to observers on earth. As sunlight penetrates the atmosphere of earth, the gaseous layer filters and refracts the rays in such a way that the green to violet wavelengths on the visible spectrum scatter more strongly than the red thus giving the moon a reddish cast. The second meaning of blood moon has been derived from this apparent coloration by two fundamentalist Christian pastors Mark Blitz and John Hege. They claimed that the 2014-15 lunar tetrade of four lunar eclipses coinciding with the feast of Passover and tabernacles matched the moon turning to blood describing in the book of Zoel of the Hebrew Bible. This tetrad was claimed to herald the second coming of Christ and the rapture as described in the book of Revelation on the date of the first of the eclipses in this sequence on April 15, 2014. At least two lunar eclipses and as many as five occurs every year. So that's all about lunar eclipse and if you are interested to watch about solar eclipse, please go to the description and click the link and so that you can know about solar eclipse thanks for watching